Hi, I'm Yao from the Mongoose Enablement team at Infor. In part 1, we got our component looking like we wanted to, but in order for it to actually contain data, we'll need to modify the code. Before that though, let's improve the functionality a bit. UI tag it comes with an autocomplete feature, but in order to use it, our component will need a list of autocomplete terms to pull from. First, let's attach a list source to the component in Mongoose. Select the component, and under data source, Click the ellipsis next to list source. You can create the list from a collection or just your own inline entries. I'll demo a simple inline list. Now let's go back into the web user control asset screen and modify our main JavaScript file. On the onFormReady function, type this in. The context gives us access to the component properties like list source and value. The getList function obtains the list source attached to the component and returns it as the object we're calling list. Let's set the available tags property in the UI tag it library with the list source. Now let's go back to the web and see our changes. Voila, our tag has all the complete functionality. Finally, bind the tag component to either a variable or a property to save the value you gave it. Let's add an edit box bound to the same variable or property to see a two-way binding. We'll also need to update the JavaScript file to tell the tag component to update when the value changes. We'll use the jQuery change function to listen for changes and update the variable or property bound to the component. Now, let's go back to the web and see our tag component in action. As you can see, the variable or property that the component is bound to is updated when you add or delete tags. Click out of the component and hit Ctrl S to see the tags. Now close out of the form and upon reopening it, you can see the tags you previously saved are still there. This was Building a Tags User Component Part 2. Thanks for watching.